Why, hello there, my pog champs. Now, I got a special video on the way. No, to start it off with, no, I'm not I'm not switching to, to Destiny or anything like that. I'm just branching out, you know? You know, play some anime games. I love Destiny. I played Destiny before Genshin. And it's don't crucify me, but I watched M-Tash. And, uh... And yeah, because <laughs> he used to be a Destiny YouTuber. I watched him and I watched all, all the other Destiny YouTubers and I went to Genshin, played that for fun. Then I saw Mtash making videos. I thought that was cool. And I, I just kept playing and playing. I was like, man, I saw a video post saying how a bunch of Genshin Impact YouTubers were quitting. So I was like, let me just slide into them DMs, you know, to fill up that hole. <laughs> I mean, I can make content. How hard could it be? Now, I'm getting off on it. You know, I'm getting off on a tangent. Yeah, I'm not quitting. I'm just going to make other content as well. The, the how I feel like, because if I just play Genshin all the time, I'm going to run out of stuff to talk about. Because, I mean, there's dead periods in Genshin that last freaking feels like months. So I got to branch out a little. Anyway, this is going to be a spectacular build that people were... I see a lot of videos of people talking about it, but because it just came out yesterday, I haven't seen anybody actually using it together. And that's the Mantle of Battle Harmony with the new exotic that we just got, Aegir Scepter. Now, Aegir Scepter, if you didn't know, whenever you get a kill, final blows with this weapon generate a slow burst around the defeated target. But in PvE, it'll do a slow burst, and then 0.5 seconds later, it'll freeze them. So it'll and because of that it'll trigger all of our stasis aspects and this one just whenever you uh, whenever you kill somebody that uh stasis final blows transfer ammo to this weapons magazine from reserve so there you go i don't know why i'm trying to explain it when i can just read it to you <laughs> i don't know oh and i'll talk about the catalyst at the end if i remember but i don't want anyone that to be spoiled about it at the start of the video and stuff but our build today that we're going to be running is an elemental well build with battle of harm uh mantle battle harmony Aegir scepter any this weapon doesn't matter i just love the grid skipper it's my favorite primary and the reed's regret and the way the reason that i i like reed's regret is because the way that mantle of battle harmony works is that takedowns with weapons that mat that have a damage type matching your subclass element grant you super energy while your super energy is full you instead gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage of the type matching your subclass element and since we're running stasis and we're getting final blows with agar scepter constantly that means we have to get a kill first to, to trigger the the bonus damage with your super full so you get a kill with agar scepter you get that bonus damage here and with harmony if you get a final blow with another weapon it it increases the bonus damage for this weapon so what i like to do is i freeze you know get a kill here it charges up my super stupid fast because of mantle battle harmony and a bunch of other stuff i'll be getting into but you charge your super up you can using the aegis agar scepter then once it's full you keep using it to you know to get like a kill kill an ad so you get the you get the damage bonus then you switch to reads of regret you have harmony proct that gives you bonus damage because of the perk harmony then you get the bonus damage from battle harm <laughs> battle of harmony wow i just i just noticed that fucking that matches <laughs> that's why it works so well together boys boys and girls guardians of all ages back again once again Anyway, I was hitting nine, and I don't even have the, uh, I don't have, or it, I didn't pick it up, did I? I don't even have this on. Particle deconstruction, it makes your fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles do more damage. And I'm pretty sure that'll stack on top of this, because it's a debuff to the enemy, it doesn't buff your weapons. So this already is hitting. I hit about, if I remember correctly, a 93,000 crit with the build that I have and it's that's without even harmony proct on it or that's without even uh this perk particle deconstruction proct on it will increase our damage i believe 50 percent which means we're fucking one-shotting stuff we're done done donezo you donezo get out of here ribbon now another thing that we like to run is uh this no 
Well, I like running this because, you know, Reese, the Aegis, Aegis Scepter is going to freeze stuff. So you might as well get all these bonuses to go with it. But this one's the main one. Defeating frozen targets grants you super energy. So we have, we have Mantle of Battle Harmony giving us super energy because of our Aegis Scepter, Scepter. And then we have the change, the... Fuck me, I cannot talk. I'm going to fucking kill something and it's gonna be all the ads. The Whisper of Bonds that's gonna give us bonus super energy. And it, it, it decreases, I think, melee and intellect, which is fine. All we need is intellect. <laughs> and what I'm gonna be running that with is the Font of Wisdom, which is picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy, grants you a temporary significant increase to your intellect improving the recharge rate of your super so we're getting more in it we're getting more more super even more but i don't know if that stacks over 100 intellect but i'm running it <laughs> uh defeating combatant with your super spawns elemental wells that match your subclass energy type which is perfect because that's what we need this for we need uh it match our energy type then we also run it with elemental armament, armaments, which is weapon takedowns with a damage type that matches your subclass element, have an escalated chance to spawn an elemental well. Even more wells, even more super energy, even more damage when we stack on Font of Might. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type grants a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that same elemental type. Even more fucking damage for our reads of regret, baby. We're gonna be hitting trillions. We're gonna be like the Titans throwing their hammers against Riven, except we're gonna take out our, our gun and we're gonna no scope it point blank and just demolish that baby. Now, let's get into a game. I'm sure, like, my, you've already seen my stats are not, are not the greatest. We're gonna go into an astral alignment, see what we can hit. See, I'm not gonna pull any banners, but we're gonna see how much damage I can hit, okay? Let's see how how hard we can hit, baby. Or how many times I can get my super, honestly. Because this is just supposed to be... I was just going for a... I was just going for a super, like, instant super build. Where we just get our super constantly. But we're getting that shit. And we're getting bonus damage for the new linear. And I just think that's insane. On top of that, this isn't even... This isn't even the adept version. And the adept version can run... Uh, adept big ones which means you get a bonus damage to yellow bars and bosses so we're hitting even higher numbers i'm telling you when people find this out they're this is going to be the weapon this is going to be by far like everyone's going to be like who what's a whose voice is a thousand what's a dat you're going to be running and be like boys put on your reeds <laughs> everyone pull out your reeds now the one bad thing, it's a linear fusion rifle, so you gotta hit your crits if you want those big numbers. Hopefully, I'm praying, hopefully my computer doesn't bust. I changed the output to 1080. Apparently it was at 720 before, and it, it was choppy before, so hopefully, hopefully this is just on my side and it's not as choppy for y'all. This will be terrible, and I probably will have to record everything if that happens. Not your cousin, Light Bear. So let's just check out my super right now. Check it out. Okay, he killed everything. Get this. Improved ability regen for 30 seconds. So we get that bonus damage too for... Oh no. Stay so Okay, we get a bonus weapon damage for 5 seconds. But there's nothing to shoot, so... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you can see, I'm already 50% to my super and I barely killed anything. Like, imagine if this super was... Uh, if this was like a... Uh, like an arc super or like a well or something. Imagine how much damage... Ah, fuck me! We weren't supposed to pick this up! We weren't supposed to! You were the chosen one! Alright. We 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 started out fresh here. We get super. Watch that super climb. 
Elemental well. Hey, baby. Give me that. So, you know how I said how it will reload? It'll, like, every time you get a stasis final blow, it'll refill the magazine a little bit. I believe it's 10 bullets. But the weird thing is, watch how fast the reload is. This is no reload mods on. Done. That literally, like, it doesn't even matter if you have to reload, because you'll just... You'll have it back, or it'll be like stupid fast anyway. This gun legit does everything. And it just works perfect. Look, we got a super. It works perfectly with just Warlock. This Warlock has a battle harmony. Die, please. Thank you. Oh, fat suit. Look at that super gain. Oh, ye. Look at the super gain. Yeah, he popped his ult, but there's nothing to kill. Come on. Give me some of that. Give me them cheeks. Give them cheeks, boyo. We got our elemental well. We got a bonus damage for 10 seconds. Okay, that's not very juicy. I swear I already hit 95,000 once. Oh, it's because we still don't have our super. We're like right there. There we go. Now we just need to kill something and then snipe the other. Maybe it's because they're uh, overload and stuff. Because I believe they have. Like they're tankier. Oh no! Our weapon's out! Yeah, if you run a linear fusion. If you run this linear fusion, I recommend running it with. Uh, Ammo finder, if you're gonna use it how I did, which is never switching to my primary. I could have popped my ult again to see. Oh well. We have a next round. You'd say I got my ult about three times there, because I <laughs> I had it halfway going in. I could have I could have used that. Or let's say two and a half. There you go. Two and a half. There we go. It's very science. Much wow. Now, we're going to go into this, and we're going to instantly, we're not going to pick this up. Actually, we already have our super, so this doesn't matter. I just want the ammo. I think I just dropped the well. Yeah, we got a well here. Let's see. Okay. Just any, any ad I can shoot, please. Hey, I swear it hit, oh, maybe, it was in the shattered realm. <laughs> I guess these guys are just... I don't tank here. We just popped our ult and we got some intellect. Intellect boost. Intellect boost. Hit him with that. And with some more of that. Got that. I can't hit at all. No! Oh, I charged my ult still. Lit. Oh, probably because I picked up a bunch of his orbs. I oh, don't know, that seems like a lot of orbs. <laughs> What's... How this man... This man died to a sniper? I'm sorry, this is more important than you. We're gonna jump up here. We're gonna get post... I wish I had my grenade, but we're posted up. Almost got our ult. Fuck you. Oh, oh yeah, these guys count as kills. It's kind of weird. Ow! You're welcome. What? What? Bruh. Man, backstepped us. All these elemental wells, baby. Wow, they spawn right when I kill one of them. Oh my god, I think that might be bugged. I think this might be a bug. Because it's... The way that this it's supposed to work is it has an escalating chance every time you kill somebody, but the, the every time I killed one of those guys, it spawned one. I gotta I gotta test it. Give me give me add. Give me add to test on. Yeah, it's fucking bugged. <laughs> it's a good bug. Good bug. I shoot. You drop ammo. No. I ult. Ammo. 
Ah. Bro, these ads are hacking. I didn't know I joined a freaking hacker gang. Bungie couldn't remove them from the game, so they made it an integral part. I punch. I run out of ammo. I become ammo. No. Ah. Stop bullying me. Get away from me. Yes. Watch this. Trick shot. Damn it. I ult you. Come on, guys. Y'all are supposed to be killing the boss. I'm supposed to be showing off how broken this build is for super gain. Ooh, ammo. Ammo? Ammo! Ammo! Give super. Yeah, look at that. Look at that fat chunk. It's, it's disgusting. The thing is, the more ads there are, the, the better this build gets. So imagine if this was like the Taken area, where a shit ton of Taken spawned in the middle. Like, dear God. Is anyone else concerned that there's more to Savathun's I got than she's letting on? my I ult so but many times. She's up to something. She's been especially curious about you. She huh. asked me where you go when you dissolve. Well, that's open to interpretation. Uh. Even among ghosts. What? Personally, I think we decompile into a quantum superposition, like a sentient frequency. But unless she's planning to exist in Bruh. states at once, I can't imagine how that would help her. <laughs> That jargon is like what they use in every movie ever. Like, how does this, how does this stop the world ending bomb that's about to go off? Well, with the subfrequency hydronics, it, it interlopes the, the sub, the subatomic number and, and gyrates throughout the, the particles in our frequency. Data, numbers, reasons. <laughs> now the end of the video we're gonna be going over the catalyst so the catalyst what it does is it gives you it's very unique because it works in tandem with your 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 uh cooldowns with your intellect which is kind of is very cool kind of like uh Soros regime but this one it instead of Soros regime giving am i calling it the right name am i calling it the right name Monte Carlo, instead of Monte Carlo giving you melee energy, like how Monte Carlo gives you melee energy, this one, the catalyst for Age Scepter, sucks it away. It sucks away your ultimate. But on top of that, it gives Age Scepter a damage buff. Now, we don't know the damage buff yet. We're going to be getting that next week. We're going to be able to farm an activity to get it to drop, which is going to be fat. Now, it's gonna give us a damage bo a boost, but at the cost of our super. But this build right here that we got right now, that doesn't even matter if we lose our super energy because we have Elemental Wells charging it up. We have our Mantle of Battle Harmony charging it up. We have Stasis, the Whisper of Bonds fragment charging it up. So we're getting some, we're getting Fat super gains, and then we also get our our weapon boosted. I I don't even. I would be a. I'd be so happy if somehow in some fantasy world we can get super faster than this gains. That would mean that we would be able to demolish everything, sucking our super away. But as long as we have this build, we can constantly have that energy going. We can constantly have our super energy draining and be able to never give up our damage bonus unless unless we run out of ammo because that's also another another caveat they said is run out if you run out of ammo or your super energy runs out then you leave that mode but 
with trace finder trace rifle ammo finder we can also put on another one if it's uh if we're gonna super main it or something like that we can just hold this on and be the team's ad clear forever. And then we stack that on with just Bleak Watcher and Ice Flare Bolts. We're, we're freezing everything. We got our Bleak Watcher that's really fucking good in game. This build is absolutely insane. It's, it's pretty, <laughs> it's fun when there's things to kill, but it's so, it the gun itself is so good that it, there's nothing to kill most of the time. Everything's already dead. Now the best way for I think I could improve this maybe is if we go over to mods and we go over to I want to say combat style right here seeker wells elemental wells you create will move across the ground toward nearby players I'm assuming that also means you it'll go towards you too probably anyone that has a uh, elemental well mod on cuz it would be kind of kind of productive if it goes towards a random guy that doesn't even have an elemental well mod on and it does nothing for him oh i guess it charges up the abilities that's pretty cool but this would be really nice if it only char if it only comes towards you because then you don't even have to i'm not even sure if there's a radius to this it it could just come to you from anywhere on the map and as you could see i was dropping elemental wells like crazy with this build to the point where they would probably they were despawning because of how many how many they were creating now, that's just a long video talking about how broken this will be in the future. Now, if anyone lasted this long, thank you for watching. I do Genshin Impact com uh, content, but I also enjoy playing Destiny. I played Destiny a shit ton before I played Genshin Impact. And as you can see from this gun, I have a, <laughs> a lot of kills on it. Though people have 14,000 shiz. I, I like switching weapons. <laughs> Anywho... I'm gonna be making other content too, you know, anime games. What any literally anything that I feel like. Now I don't wanna ramble on too much. I'm gonna make this quick. I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching my little poggy woggy champs. Now please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Johnny.